Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be testing out the Rimmel Crimson Eyeshadow Palette. This has been out for a while now but I was browsing Priceline the other day and it really caught my eye because it looked like it had a lot of similar shades to the very popular Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. Now when I searched it up I saw that a lot of people were comparing the two. I don't actually own the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette but I'm interested to give this one a go and see if it performs and if it does it has a lot of similar shades to the Urban Decay. They're not dupes but I can link a really good video down below where she swatched both of them. So with all that being said if it's a good palette you can definitely save yourself some money because this one retails for $21.95 and the Urban Decay retails for $83 so. <laughs> Alright well if you want to see how this palette goes and if it should be in your collection or not then keep on watching. So as I mentioned this one retails for $21.95 here in Australia but you can always pick it up on sale. I got mine for about $13 I think and if you're in the US I'm pretty sure it's only around $8. It comes with six matte shades, six shimmers, and a dual-ended brush. I'll insert some swatches of all the shades now. As we know, swatches don't indicate how well a palette performs, but I just thought you may, uh, you may like to see all the shades. Alright, I've already primed my lids with concealer and then lightly set it with powder. I'm going to start out with this shade here and I'm going to pack that into my crease, blend it out, and then to help blend out those edges, I'm going to go in with this shade here. Okay, the pigment's all right. Kind of digging my brush in a bit. Okay, the color's there, but it's just not as pigmented as I would like it. So I'm going to try and keep packing that on and just lightly blending it out. Okay, I think I'll leave that for now and I'll go in with the lighter shade to blend out the transition. That's blending really nicely. This is a kind of soft, mauvey pink. So here's just a close up. It looks kind of patchy and the pigment isn't really there. Mm. I'm going to go in with this deeper burgundy shade down here and just deepen up my crease a little bit. Okay, that's pigmented. Okay, that looks better already. Next, I'm going to take this shade here and pop that in the center of my lid to do a halo eye. And then I'm going to take this brown to blend out the edges. I think I'm going to use my finger first. maybe not. I'll go in with a brush. I'm just going to wet that with some Fix Plus. Okay, it's not as shimmery as I want it to be, even with the Fix Plus. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this shade and pop that right in the center. Use my, I'll use my finger again. I'm just bringing that darker shade up along the crease as well. I'm just going to pop a little bit more of that bright shade in the center. For under the eyes, I'm going to take that mauvey dusty pink first. I'm 
Then in with the very first crease shade we used. And then with my Sigma E15 Flat Definer, I'm going to take that deep burgundy and run that really close to the lower lash line. Okay, here is a close up. Mm. I feel like all those shades kind of just blended into each other. You can't really see the transition between the lightest to the deeper shades. And those shimmers really just... Mm -hmm. Not impressed. I might actually try the little sponge tip applicator for that shimmer shade and see if it applies it any better. Meh, same, same, really. Okay, well, let's just put on some mascara. I'm using the NARS Climax. And then I'm going to tie line with my Rimmel Exaggerate Eye Definer in the shade Rich Brown. Okay, well, I'm just going to finish the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so both eyes are done. From a distance, it does look really nice, but when I get up close, I can just see that it's patchy. And as I mentioned before, the shades don't really have that nice transitional color from lightest to darkest. It kind of just all blends in to one. The shimmers just, I don't know, like it looks all right, but even with Fix Plus, they're just not as vibrant and shimmery as I want. So I'll just give you a close up. See how here it just looks a bit patchy up here as well. Oh, keep hitting things. So I don't know, leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. I think I'll play around with it again soon, but I won't set my eye base with powder. I'll just leave it as the tacky concealer and see if that helps with the pigmentation at all. If you're really after a similar palette to the Urban Decay Naked Cherry, I'd maybe just watch some reviews on the Naked Cherry and see if it's worth it and save up and get that palette because this just, it's a little bit of a letdown, unfortunately. If you've watched a couple of my latest videos, you would have seen me using the designer brand's ICU palettes. Now, these ones only come with six shades, but oh, my god they are so good so this one here is the make it mauve and it does have some similar some similar colors so if you're not after an entire palette with heaps of different shades but you just want a few from this kind of color range then i would definitely pick up the designer brands palette these retail for 12 dollars full price the mattes are beautiful and pigmented they blend really well and the shimmers pack a lot of punch as well as of right now, I wouldn't recommend this palette, so save your money and have a look around. I'm sure there are a million other palettes out there with these kind of shades. All right, well, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure you leave me a comment down below with your thoughts on the palette. And if you own this palette, let me know. Does it work for you or is this the kind of situation that you're getting as well? If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then what are you doing? Please press that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit... 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I'm very close, so help me reach my goal. And remember, if you ever have any video requests, then just let me know and I'll see what I can do. All right, well, I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'll lightly set it with some... <gasps> oh my God, I totally forgot. <gasps> I was meant to get my car serviced today. So as I mentioned, this one retails for 20... <laughs>